Hello, my YouTube friend. We're finally going to check out my store. Today, we're going to talk about records. All right, let's go inside. Let's check it out. All right. <sighs> so, as you can see, the reason why I don't do store tours that often is I'm constantly dealing with big piles of collections I bought. So my record guy came in, he dropped off a whole giant pile of records, probably 1,000 to 1,500, somewhere in there. He comes in during the winter, he doesn't really come that often, maybe once a month, but during the spring into the summer when he starts hitting garage sales and thrift stores and everywhere that people are trying to clear out their houses, he'll start finding us a lot more records. So I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of how many records we get, what a big record haul kind of looks like. It happens pretty often. And if you guys enjoy records and you want to see me do more record hauls, just let me know in the comments below because we do get a lot of records from our record guy. Plus we buy other collections and whatnot for the store. So I could do a lot more record hauls if you enjoy this kind of video. A lot of people ask me constantly, why don't you do a store tour? But most of my weeks are spent sorting stuff. So my record guy just brought in a whole ton of records. And for a lot of people to ask me how I make money or why I sell in the shop. Now I do have pops there and I do have Funko pops right there, but it's the records. The records are one of my main businesses. So I'm more of like a record store than a Funko pop shop. So I wanted to share some of the records with you today because this is pretty cool. When my record guy comes in, he usually brings in a lot of cool records and I love looking through them. I love seeing which records he has. I love checking out to see if there's anything really good. Like I see a David Bowie right there and I see Neil Young. So I know there's some good records in here. I don't know what the condition is. He basically gives me a guideline of stuff that he paid more for or stuff he paid less for and a general idea of how he wants me to price them. And so I go through them. I research prices. I usually price if a record's mint where it doesn't have many scratches. Where So basically the record if the playing surface is in really good shape. I kind of match the eBay price and if it's you know a little bit scratched up I drop the price down and if the cover is a little bit beat up the price drops down further So that's kind of how I price But I thought you guys who like records would like to see the kind of stuff my shop gets So I figured let's start digging through some of these boxes Actually first I have a, a box of records on the chair right there that my wife was pricing earlier today And that's some cool hip-hop stuff So let's check that out all right, so this box of records were a lot of hip hop and rap records. Ones that my record guy put to the side and he said these are worth more. So there was some pretty cool stuff in here. So we have T.I. Trap Music, the famous Mob Deep's Free Agents, Volume 1. We got CeeLo Green. That's pretty cool. We got the Neptunes. We have, looks like a compilation disc. Another compilation disc. Bad Boy Greatest Hits. I'm going to just blast through these. Fat Joe. Uh, Changing Faces. A Kanye West 12 inch. An R. Kelly and Jay Z. I'm just going to blast through all of these. So there's a lot of decent records in here. Fuji's. Nas. Uh, Nas again. So this is kind of the better hip hop stuff. I think there was some Biggie in here. Another J R. Kelly and Jay Z. Oh yeah, there's some Toys B.I.G., some more Toys B.I.G., Dr. Dre. So the thing with records is I don't actively collect them myself at the moment. So most of these... Oh, that's Method Man. So all these are going to go into the shop. Jay-Z, Tribe Called Quest, Mob Deep, more Jay-Z. Ja Rule. Mob Deep again, Jay Z. There you got Eminem. Mob Deep. Mob Deep. Fabulous. Tupac. So, if you like hip hop stuff, that's a lot of decent records. These are going to be in the ten to thirty dollar range, because these are kind of better ones. It really all depends on the condition. Okay, let's uh, let's dig through some of the pop and rock stuff. 
Let's see what we got. We got Neil Young. I mean, a record like this, if it was mint, I could probably get 20 bucks, but it looks like it's been water damaged and it's probably a little bit scratched up. Got Gary Burton, Johnny Cash, the band, Wes Montgomery, he always sells. Jimmy Page. Oh, Grateful Dead. That's good. You don't really see Grateful Dead that often. Bob Dylan, Wes Montgomery again, or Neil Young. So again, a lot of this stuff is, it depends on the condition. I'm going to have to go through and grade all of it. But I'm happy to see a whole box of Neil Young. and Oh, some Rolling Stones, more Bob Dylan, Art Tatum, Jimi Hendrix, Aretha Franklin in bad shape. Louis Armstrong. So there's some jazz stuff mixed in here. Billie Holiday. Elvis. Louis Armstrong again. Joe Cocker. Todd Rundgren I just saw there. Okay. Oh, Captain Beefheart. I don't see those too often. More Billie Holiday. And some Creedence Clearwater. All right, that's good. All right. Come down here. Frampton comes alive. You see this record so often in collections, but it sells pretty good. Carol King, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder always sells for me. More Stevie Wonder. Always happy to see Stevie Wonder. Bruce Springsteen sells well. Billy Joel goes in spurts. Rod Stewart doesn't really sell for me. Billy Joel, yes. Yes, it's pretty good. Hall and O2G sells pretty well. Elton John, again, it goes in spurts. Sometimes I sell none, and then sometimes someone buys a whole set of six, seven, eight records. Bad Company, Elton John, The Kinks, Women's Hermits, Santana, got the Cat Stevens. So just a uh, mix. And soundtracks sell well too, because we sell a lot of movies and stuff. So people like soundtracks. Blind Faith. Let's see what's in here. I'm looking for Paul McCartney, sells pretty good. Monkeys, okay. Genesis, Elvis Costello does pretty good for me. Pretenders, oh yeah. So anything Pink Floyd is gonna be like gold. Pink Floyd is just the easiest thing to sell record wise. But I don't get them that often and they are kind of expensive when I do get them because they sell. Leonard Skinner, a couple of loose records, Elvis. More Elvis. Oh, Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead's good, too. I don't get that too often. Farner. More Elvis. More Elvis. Is that the blue disc? Yep. Blue vinyl. I like this one. This one's cool. Let's see if I can get it out without damaging it. Pretty awesome vinyl. It's hard to take records in and out of the sleeve with one hand, and you don't want to damage them. Colored vinyl is always fun hair you know just a lot of pop springsteen again marvin gaye's good cheap trick sells pretty well elvis louis armstrong elvis uh country stuff country stuff doesn't sell very much for me elvis 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 and a lot of elvis at the end there okay not too bad and for you toy fans he brought me a whole tin full of ninja turtles these are probably gonna be six bucks a piece in the shop I think there's one nicer one that's worth a little bit more. Oh yeah, the Krang in his chair. I think this one's like an $8 to $10 one. But that's pretty cool. I like having the vintage toys for the shop. And then this is another whole tin of little figures and Pez and all kinds of cool stuff that I'll be putting in the shop this week. I really like that monkey. It's like a zombie monkey? Not sure. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. It's the wind-up boxer from the boxing ring. I actually might buy that from him. Because all the stuff he gives me, we sell on consignment. So I, if there's something I'm dying to have, I might end up buying it from him directly. All right. Okay, let's check out this box. Okay, Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, that's going to be hard to sell. <laughs> Ooh, Led Zeppelin. It looks pretty nice shape, too. All right, what do we got? Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Janis Joplin. Ooh, the doors. The doors sell well. A Motown compilation. Fleetwood Mac also sells well for us. Rolling Stones. Oh, this is a pretty cool box. More Fleetwood Mac. Carol King. Bruce Springsteen. Beach Boys. Hello, how are you? 
Beatles, that's like gold. Beach Boys, Rolling Stones, more Rolling Stones, The Kinks, Beach Boys, Elvis, Michael Jackson Thriller. Ooh, more Led Zeppelin. Okay, that always does well. Bob Dylan, Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones, Stevie Wonder, Rolling Stones. This is a good box. Bob Dylan, more Rolling Stones, Aerosmith, uh, Cosby Stills and Nash with the Joni Mitchell cover, Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones, Beatles, Beatles, good album, Double Fantasy, more John Lennon solo, let's see what we got, uh, John Lennon again, Wings Greatest Hits, and ooh, David Bowie Live, nice. Nice. Good stuff in there. All right. All right. Let's check this box out. We got Jimmy Buffett. Mamas and the Papas. Rocky soundtrack. Bruce Springsteen. That always sells. Billy Joel. Temptations. Dan Fogelberg. Men at Work. 2020. All right. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks. Thanks. 2020 so this box is kind of a, a medium road nothing super awesome jumping out yeah she doesn't sell that well for me oh you two okay that's cool oh peter Gabriel, that's good okay so there is some better stuff in here james taylor's okay ub40 sells pretty well the romantics not so much phil collins eh, not so much oh rolling stones that's good squeeze So there's some jazz stuff and stuff that's not as, uh, it doesn't sell as well for me. Yeah, this is all kind of, oh, Grease soundtrack, that always sells well. Traffic, uh, Suzanne Vega, Cars, Cars sell pretty good. Oh, The Police, I like The Police, I'm a Police fan. Phil Collins, Supremes, Spinners, the Rhythmics. Joe Jackson, that's pretty good. Uh, and Fogelberg, he doesn't really sell for me. Nope, not too good of a seller. Let's see what we got. This one's sticking to the front here. Oh, Star Wars. Okay, that was solid. The sleeve looks like it's damaged, so I have to look at the playing surface. And more Jordans. Winston. Ooh, Bruce Springsteen, that's good. Earth, Wind, Fire sells pretty well for me. Not sure what that is. Sesame Street. Ooh, Pac-Man picture disc. That is cool. I think I have that one already. I would have bought it off him. Bruce Springsteen, The River. That's good. More Bruce Springsteen. That's very good, actually. Cream is Clearwater. Uh, these are all upside down. Live Stone Greatest Hits. All right, let's see what we got. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. No more feeling weird. That sounds funny. Michael Jackson record. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Joe Cocker. Uh, not sure what that is. Indiana Jones soundtrack. That's cool. And another Crosby, Stills, and Nash. So that's a pretty decent record. There's some better stuff. Some kind of middle of the road stuff. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, I think these are 12 inch records. Let me pull a couple out. See what they are. Yep. <laughs> we got the wall and more Pink Floyd. Okay, so that's some good stuff. It depends on the condition of the record, but you got the Go-Go's. Okay, so this has some good stuff in it. Let's see what we got a couple of singles in the front. Okay. Ah. Sun Night Fever record. That one sells for me very well. People always want that one. Simon Garfunkel. Clean as Clearwater is good. Bands okay. Rolling Stones. And I mean, value wise, I know some people probably like certain bands more than others. I never judge anyone by their music tastes. I just certain record. I mean, Jackson sell pretty well. So certain records, I'm just talking about how well they sell for me in the shop. 
Uh, oh, ACDC. Don't see that too often. Oh, Led Zeppelin. Okay. Definitely a lot of really good records he brought me this time. And this is stuff he kind of had stockpiled. I think once uh, spring comes in, he's going to be bringing us a lot of records again. Because that's when he starts finding all of them. He does Van Halen. He does most of... Uh, oh, Beatles are always good. He does most of his hunting in the spring and summer. Al Green in the fall. I mean, in the winter, I just don't think there's as much stuff out there. Janis Joplin, Rolling Stones, Sarah Vaughan, Stevie Wonder, Elvis, Carol King, Billy Holiday, more Bruce Springsteen. A lot of Bruce Springsteen in this collection. More Creedence Clearwater. Lots of, lots of decent stuff. What's going on here? A lot of Elvis. Bill Haley, a little section of him. Some jazz stuff. Ringo Solo. Billy Holiday. Rolling Stones. Todd Rundgren. Electric Lake Orchestra. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Taj Mahal. Bob Dylan. Taj Mahal again. Cheap trick. Um, Bruce Yes. That's Wind and Fire. The Heli again. And the Kinks. Pretty decent box. All right, let's go through this box. We got a Meatloaf, Rolling Stones, Roger Daltrey Solo, Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell always sells well for me. More Joni Mitchell. Pretenders. Steely Dan. Steely Dan also does well for us, although this one's kind of beat up. The Pretenders. 12 inch singles. I think there's some jazz stuff in here. So it looks like, yeah, we got a lot of jazz stuff. Which does pretty good. Some of the jazz stuff does really well. Some of it takes a while. Gladys Knight, that one felt like the record was missing. Carol King, more jazz. Some uh, soul stuff. Louis Armstrong. Alright, so this looks like a lot of jazz stuff with a little bit of soul and a little bit of pop mixed into this box. And some blues. Jazz, hey, Charles, all right, so yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, we have a whole box of it. Oh, the OJs, the OJs are good, OJs do well, Elvis. Whitney Houston sells pretty well. Oh, uh, Cool J. Yes, I love you. I love you. Okay, do you want to tell the? You want to tell some of our viewers about the store? You sure? Okay, you don't have to. Okay, Whitney Houston does well. Oh, uh, Cool J. Santana. Or the Aretha Franklin. Rick James. 12 inch Supremes. I think that's the Supremes. Yeah, Supremes. Stevie Wonder. LL Cool J. More Supremes. Lots of Aretha Franklin. That's Wind and Fire. Some singles, 
P. Diddy, Aretha Franklin, Run DMC, A Very Special Christmas, Tina Turner, uh, Michael Jackson with Paul McCartney. 3,000 likes on this video, I do a Fortnite dance video. <laughs> All right, let's go through this bottom box. All right, we've got some classical. Classical does not sell very well in my shop. Classical. I don't recognize that's, oh yeah, Hotel California. That'll sell very well. Almond Brothers. Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Oh. It's Alex. Hi. <laughs> We're doing a Westwood's video. Yeah, let's see. What we got Michael Jackson. Looks like a lot of good stuff in this box. Fleetwood Mac. What we got Duran Duran. Amadeus Laserdisc. Stevie Wonder. James Brown. James Brown's good. You don't get a lot of James Brown. Ooh, Buddy Miles. That's a great album. Fleetwood Mac. These are all upside down and backwards. All right, what do we got? We got Little Richard's Greatest Hits. Fat Boys. 12 inch. More 12, that's a new order, 12 inch. That's gonna be, that'll sell well. Got David Bowie Labyrinth single, that's cool. Oh, more David Bowie. I think it's a laser disc. That's cool. A Motley Crue CD video. I don't know if it's a laser disc or what that is. Oh, these are weird. Def Leppard CD video. Blade Runner laser disc. So we got some laser discs in here. Laser disc, laser disc, laser disc, laser disc. What else do we have? Uh, Beach Boys, U2, Beatles. Looks like it's in good shape, too. All right, let me pull this out. Frank Sinatra, Simon and Garfunkel. Ooh, David Bowie. I could use as much of that as possible. The Kinks. That's all right. Electric Dreams. Pesh Mode. I think that's a single. That will sell well. Chuck Berry. Jerry Lee Lewis. Ella Fitzgerald. Paul McCartney. We got Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Eric Clapton. Lionel Richie. Richie, Billy Joel, Billy Joel, more Billy Joel, a lot of Billy Joel, more Billy, Billy Joel, Joel. <laughs> Billy Joel. <laughs> more Billy Joel. I think the next one's No, Billy it's Joel. Eagle. It's, it's the Eagles. Madonna. Finally. Willie Nelson. Boston. Ooh. Ooh, these are in pretty good shape, too. They're... Yeah, that's, that one's like in rap. Right? Yeah, it still has the original rap. That's awesome. Boston. Wow. Uh, the Mamas and the Papas, Carol King, Mamas and the Papas. Oh yeah, there's the Beatles. We saw that one already. U2. So some pretty good stuff in there. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's dig through this large box here. I think this is kind of the middle ground stuff. Rod Stewart. Yes. Yes. Billy Joel. Bee Gees. I mean, it's solid sellers. It's just it's stuff I get so often. 2001, The Space Odyssey. I actually sell that soundtrack pretty often. Yeah, this is a little bit weaker style. Spinner, Spinners is all right. Tina Turner, single. Okay. Tom Jones. Chariots of Fire soundtrack. Moby Grape. Oh, no, I thought it was sealed for a second. These are in good shape, though, with the covers still on them, the plastic. 
Crosby stills a Nash. Grab a stack. More Bruce Springsteen. That's good. Cal King. Blue Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ Superstar. The Police. Why is the like a music album named The Police? That's the name of the group. They're pretty good. I like them. A surfing record. Adventures. Police. The uh, George Harrison. Yeah, George Harrison. Took me a second to think. George Harrison Beatles. All right, so this is a lot of pop and rock stuff. More Queen is Clearwater. These ones feel not as in, they feel like the condition is not as good on those. Moody Blues, Jefferson Airplane, Rare Earth. Richie Havens on stage, Joe Jackson, Mott the Hoople, the Rascals. Frank Sinatra, Let's see John Mayall, Ten Years After, The Gods, Fred Stewart, yes, Hall and Oates, TV Ray Vaughn, Donovan, ooh, Morrison Hotel, awesome record, Santana, ooh, Jimi Hendrix, awesome. Grateful Dead, very good. King Crimson, awesome. This record always sells as soon as I get it. Sade, Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, The Who. So it looks like he got me a lot of good records. The Who, Chamber Brothers, it's, uh, Rolling Stones, The Doors, 10,000 Maniacs, The Police, Fleetwood Mac, Doors again. Bob Dylan, John Denver, Chicago. Orbison, Phil Oaks. Pat Stevens. These are all backwards again. Elvis Costello, Lionel Richie, Frank Sinatra, Tracy Chapman, more Tracy Chapman impressions, Do the Hustle, Jackson Brown, Hall and Oates, Mamas and the Papas, yeah. Credence, Bruce Springsteen is always good, Doors is awesome. Hello. The band, David Byrne, that's cool. Rodeo, Compilations, John Hammond, Simon and Garfunkel, some of that, Bruce Cockburn, Simon and Garfunkel, or Simon and Garfunkel, who, all right, let's move this over, Jay Giles Band, Marshall Tucker Band, that doesn't really sell, Bob Seger, Moody Blues, oh, Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan's always good, Chicago, Credence, Iron Butterfly sells pretty well. Donovan, or Donovan, Bob Dylan, and oh, Joni Mitchell, yes. And oh, Neil Young, awesome. You can never have enough Neil Young in this store. Billy Joel. Eric Clapton, that was Costello. Oops, these are backwards. Got yeah, Bob Seeger. Not familiar with that record. Eagles, John Mayall, Susan Vega, Leonard Skinner, Peter Gabriel. All right, so lots of good stuff in that box. Okay, let's go through this box. David Bowie. I mean, I always need David Bowie, but this one is in bad shape. But still David Bowie. We got Prince. 
Get more prints. Function. Oh, Superfly, Curtis Mayfield. I like the album. Let's see what we got in here. Some funk stuff. So I think he usually tries to sort out stuff a little bit. Uh, see, good record, just bad shape. Stevie Wonder, Police, Purple Rain, good stuff, good stuff. Bob Marley, good stuff. Ram sells pretty okay too. Marvin Gay always sells. Over Washington's okay. Boomy Gang sells pretty good. The problem with a lot. Oh, Rush. Rush is good. The problem with a lot of uh, soul records, people really just love to play them and they get worn out. Parliament, ah, bad sheep. Stanley Clark. Good jazz stuff in here. Uh, Herbie Hancock. Marvin Gaye. Cool in the Gang. Bob Dylan. So uh, there's a lot of funk and soul. Sade. Some jazz. Janis Joplin, The Doors, looks like a bad shape, but hopefully the playing surface is good. The Beatles. All right, so not a bad box. Pretty good amount of good stuff in there. All right, let's go through this box. Let's see what we got. We got Tom Jones, more Tom Jones, Elvis. Tom Jones, Tom Jones doesn't really sell in the store. But apparently I have a Tom Jones section, so if you want Tom Jones, I got a lot. Santana. Structures. Tom Jones. Alright, so this is... Uh, some of this stuff might have a little bit of value to it. It's really oddball stuff. So this oddball stuff, sometimes this stuff has a lot of value, and sometimes it's worthless. But I have to research that. Almond Brothers, that's good. Yes. Sly and the Family Stone. Saturday Night Fever soundtrack that always sells. Wings. Uncle Harem. Crosby Stills and Nash. All right, stuff I don't know. Beatles, Beatles is always good. Simon and Garfunkel. Paul Simon Solo. Electric Light Orchestra, they sell pretty good. Carol King. More Billy Joel, Eagles, James Taylor, more Electric Light Orchestra, more Beatles. Very cool. It looks in pretty good shape, too. Oh, we got Rolling Stones. That's good. More Beatles. Beatles is always good for the store. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. What was that Beach Boys? Beach Boys, Beach Boys sells pretty good. More Saturday Night Fever. I can always use those. BG's greatest hits. That's it. Was a Sly Stone? Yeah, Sly Stone. Backwards. Traffic. Crosby Stills and Nash. The Star Wars disco album. The Godfather soundtrack. That's kind of cool. Donovan. Beach Boys, and Grease. So that's another box of pretty decent records. Okay, and then let's look through this crate. We got Crosby, Stills, and Nash. The Mamas and the Papas. Louis Armstrong. More Saturday Night Fever. Did that go through? No, I didn't get this already. More Elvis.
So who makes the stuff? Sinatra, Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell always sells well in the store. Crazy Stills and Nash. Sinatra. So some oldies. Some of the stuff sells. Some of it is hard to sell. Some of it sells. Got a Halloween record. Ella Fitzgerald sells well. James Taylor. More James Taylor. More James Taylor. Ella Fitzgerald. Billy Holiday. Rolling Stones. Billy Holiday. Joni Mitchell, more jazz, Grand Funk Railroad, they're pretty good. Credence Clearwater, Joni Mitchell, more Joni Mitchell. Gang, a good stock of Joni Mitchell. Santana, Santana. More West Montgomery, he pulled out a lot of West Montgomery this week. Ella Fitzgerald, some belly dancing stuff. Don't know if that will sell. Commodores, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Aretha Franklin, Joni Mitchell, Joni Mitchell, yes, Derek and the Dominoes, Bee Gees, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Bee Gees, Buddy Holly. Eagles, Dave Bubak, Nina Simone, that's good, Joe Cocker, some more soundtrack stuff, Green Clearwater, more doors, lots of doors this week, that's awesome. So not too bad. So as you can see, I got a whole ton of records in this week. My record guy, I think as the weather gets warmer, he'll be out hunting for more records for the shop. So hopefully there'll be a ton of records coming into my shop every few weeks. He will drop off another big pile of records. He usually drops off like a thousand when he hits about a thousand to bring into the shop. So if you want to visit my shop, it's called Pop Fuzz. It's located in Brooklyn at 123 White Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11249. We're really close to the L train, three blocks away from the Bedford Avenue stop. I guess a lot of you guys are asking for a store tour. So I'll do a very quick store tour so you get a kind of idea what it looks like. All right, let's check it out. So over here we have a pile of junk. That's kind of the way that I got to sort through. Over here we have damaged pops, some old vintage magazines, some random stuff piled here, trading cards. Got a lot of trading cards around here. I am kind of picked out, sold out trading cards, so I need to pick up a bunch more. And then over here we just have a whole bunch of records, uh, some Thai stuff. This is kind of our better movie $5 section. And then over on this side, we have more $5 movies. And over here, I have a bunch of comic books, uh, some Thai stuff, some more Funko Pops and statues and stuff. Over here, we just have a whole bunch of $5 Blu-rays and then more records. We have a ton of records. We usually have five to 7,000 records in stock. All pretty good stuff. All these bins over here are full of records. But as you can see, we're kind of picked out. As you can see, ACDC is gone, but we just got restocked. So in the collection, I'll have a couple in there. But there's still some stuff. The Almond Brothers, there's still a good little selection of those. The Let's see, the Beatles. I don't know if there's any Beatles. It might just be solo albums. Okay, and then up here, we just have all the cheaper Funko Pops. They go back there. And then over here, we have more stuff I got to sort through. And in the case, we kind of have the more expensive ones put out for sale. And just other knickknacks and toys and whatnot. On the counter, we have 50 Cent Garbage Pail Kids. If you like Garbage Pail Kids, we have a bunch of singles. We have quarter Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If you like vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. Over here, we have Pokemon. All the rares are right here. On this side of the counter, we kind of have the better comic books. It's the stuff that sells for $7 or more. A lot of X-Men because I sorted my X-Men comics recently. And then this side is the DC side. 
kind of have the key issues and the things that are a little bit more interesting. Kind of have the better DC comics here. Oops, got Thor mixed in on the wrong side. In the back corner, we have tons and tons of audio cassettes, old board games. Those are always popular. Tons of cassettes, more board games, tons of board games. Back here, just more DVDs. We have a giant dollar VHS section. We don't really take care of it. It just kind of gets thrown around because they're only a buck a piece. But for people of VHS, they love to dig through this area. And a whole bunch more DVDs, tons and tons and tons of $3 DVDs with some Funko stuff and other random toys on the top here. And for like 12 inch singles, we put all the singles over in this area. Just a whole bunch piled up. It's a place to dig. If you want to dig, you come here and you dig. And this is our sticker wall. It's kind of picked over. I need to restock it pretty soon. And we have a bunch of action figures there and a bunch of action figures in the front. We're still kind of picked over from the Christmas season, but during the spring, so in the next month or so, we start restocking the store for the summer. And I guess that's about it. Just a quick tour. You know, it wasn't a thorough tour, but gives you kind of an idea what the shop's like. Uh, but I definitely think in the future when we do big record hauls, because we do them pretty often, I'm going to do more videos on them because that's kind of more about what our business is. We don't really, the pops I kind of sell to help with the YouTube channel, but we don't really sell that many pops compared to records. Records are the big thing that we sell a ton of. If you guys want to see more about the store or if there's anything you want me to show you, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.